Americans here, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this mod for the 75302 Imperial Shuttle that actually came out today. I got it from Barnes & Noble a few days earlier, and I made it better. Fits four figures instead of one, and there's a lot less stuff down there. Let's get into the tutorial. Alright, here's the shuttle to the completely unmodified, and the first step to this alternate build is going to be just taking the wings off. We do need a couple parts from each wing. We're gonna need this two by three white tile from both wings. And then this long two by something plate as well. Let's take these off. Next one. And there's two. These wings, we won't need to touch them again until the very end. But these parts, just put them off to the side. The next step is just really disassembling everything. Not piece by piece. But most things need to come off because we got to switch some very internal Technic stuff. So I'm taking everything off in chunks, starting with the cockpit, the nose section... And then these two side things, one on each side, all in one piece, just like that. Now we're going to take this entire assembly here off. So we're going to take this back section off, all in one piece. And then to get this off, we're going to need to get the fin off separately. Start with these, and then after that's off, put it right back together. And getting the fin off is really super simple. I'm just going to take Luke's lightsaber that comes in this set and poke right through those two plate things keeping the wings in. Just one right here. Perfect. Oops. Perfect. There's one. And the other one. Perfect. Both those are out, and this should lift right up. Next thing to take off is going to be this entire assembly here. So to do that, you're going to take off this, this back part, and then this, and then this 2x4 plate really needs to come off. After that's off, it's just as simple as splitting it apart, and taking it off, that black pan and then just to keep everything together I'm gonna build it right back up how it was put it there put that on and the back part and the 2 by 4 plate now left with this and to start from here, take off both these pieces. Never gonna need those again. And then you can just start ripping from here off this front cockpit section because all of this is gonna end up getting dismantled. This whole front section will be. So that's really not what happens up here. Fix the traders. Here, which is the farthest you can go, until you take off these two 2x4 two plates. We're going to take those two things off, gently this time. And you'll see there's the 1x6 tan plate. We want to take off that and the things above it. If I get my finger under there. Should be able to take up this entire assembly right up there. So it's down there, now it's up here, and that's just come off. So now there's this thing. You really need to attach this thing back on there and the other one. 
and then put it on your plates just to keep it everything together that's going to go back together for simplicity. Now you can continue taking off stuff from the front, then just putting it off to the side. So what we're trying to do here is move this and this piece, both of those Technic bricks, two studs back. That's the end goal. From here, just break off this piece, this piece, and this piece on both sides. One, two, three. Move those up to the side. Just a little bit left. Let's just take off these hinge things. All four of them. Next, you're gonna stick your brick separator in between the dark gray and the light gray plate. Right here. Take this whole thing off. If you get it in one piece, that's pretty epic. Take it off from that side and the other side. There's just this. You can take off this bottom piece. Won't need this again. Next step is removing this one by six tile right here. Setting it to the side. And this one by six tile, or plate. Both these are bricks, not plate tiles. Both one by six bricks. This one has an attachment on it. And now take the lightsaber that was we had earlier and push through the red axle right there. Upside down, I guess. Push it right through to the other side. You'll see the lightsaber in the center. Push this out. Grab the saber out. Leave this to the side. There's everything to the side at this point. Next thing is moving this entire assembly back to take it off. So it's connected there, and just move it back. And now it's taken off. Grab this extra pin. You already know. Set this to the side. Lift up on this thing, just this whole assembly, and just rip it off. It might, you might need to force it a little bit, but just, just rip it off, honestly. Same thing for the other side, lift it here, lift the brick part, and then force it off, just like that. Take the pin out. Of course, set them to the side. The final thing that needs to be done is taking off all of this, all of the flooring for the interior. It may come off in a couple pieces, but it's best if you leave it in one. Put it to the side, and here we are, 100% taken apart, down to the core. The final thing that needs to be done is take this assembly apart and move it forward two pinholes. So you're going to go from here, one two and to make it fit in there you'll actually need to take this pin and move it backwards to there so it fits around the one in there and it'll fit in just like that same thing on the other side grab both pins off of here move it up from here one stud or one pinhole two pinholes move this pin all the way back here and clamp it in. So now all that entire process was just to move this thing back in the in the build. One last thing. And since these were here, you had to move them forward two pinholes as well. So one, two, push it in, and this thing will come out. And put that right behind it because it's not really useful at this point. Grab the other one, push it right in there. It's gonna be one pinhole on each side left for those things, and one pinhole on each side for this part. Take this assembly right here and somehow 
I had to just shove it in there, really. I mean, it's not going to be the best. If it falls apart, it falls apart for now. Just put it in there. Clamp it down. Legal techniques, I guess. I mean, Lego doesn't want you forcing the bricks at all, but to get that in there, you will have to. Then for this side, do the same thing. Just kind of like wedge it in there. I mean, it's really hard to explain. Just put it in there. And clamp it down. And then for this, you're going to put it three studs from the back. Three studs from the back of that plate there. Towards the pistol part. And now I think we're like officially, officially ready to start putting it back together. So, grab this part that we put, put aside earlier. Slide it all back. Just right up there. Right back where it was. Right back where that was. Then, grab our one by sixes. Here's the regular one. It goes right in the back, right in front of the tall white part. And this one goes facing this direction, just like that. That's not supposed to fall off, but if it does, just chunk it right back on there. Next thing to grab is gonna be these long pieces. Put the yellow on them. Put them right here. The yellow should be on the inside, right there. Like closer to the middle, the yellow should be there. Put it all the way back on. Right there. Next thing, take this red piece and put it right back in where we took it out earlier. And then, can take these six things we took off from the back here. There's one here, there's one in the middle, actually. There's one, there's one in the middle, two studs away from that one, and the one up front. There's two studs away from that one, which leaves us room. For this thing, squeeze that in there, and then this thing, do the same thing. Just put both those in there. Do the same for the other side with its pieces. Next thing to put back together will be this little assembly with the white and gray and the red bar in it. The easiest way to get this back on is to take off this one gray piece, put it on that axle, that pin, and then put this gray piece right back on. That's attached on both sides. Then take this big assembly with the printed piece. And take it apart the same way we did before. Take that back piece off, the front piece, and the important one, the two by four tile. And then split it in half. Put one end on in this hole, this white, white, white hole right there. And then line up everything else and squeeze it together. Shouldn't be that hard, but it is for me for some reason, because I'm weak. Just like that. Put the 2 by 4 back on. Put this printed part back on. And put the back thing back on. And now, if you did it right, it all should lock. Just like it does when you originally built the set. Next thing is just start adding on large chunks. Show this back piece. Put it right back where we came from. This piece. Then the pin. And these two pins, these actual technical pins right here. Then this other cover. From here, grab these two things, there's two of them, and just line them up right back. Right back where they were in the original. Just put them up top. wings on. Boom, just like that. And 
The ship is complete at this point. We just gotta build up the cockpit and the nose, which I'll show you how to do right now. Using the parts that we took off the original cockpit, follow these instructions on screen to build the rest of the ship. Then take this piece that you just built, tip the shuttle up like that, and attach it right there. Just like that. And all that should leave you with this big nose piece. And you're going to see these bars right here. You can go into the black clips. I find this easiest to do. If you lift up the fin and have this on the edge of the table. And just connect those two. This comes off. That's okay. Just connect them. And as you can see, right on the inside, they're connected there. And then you can just put this whole assembly right back on and close the lid and it's almost done. There's one more thing, just need to build the front landing gear. And this final landing gear piece can just be put right here. So. This front gray piece is going to go right on the 2x2 two two slope just to hold this in place a little bit and to give the landing into act as landing gear. And with that, we are done. So now I'm just going to open this up and put some figures in it. And there it is, loaded with the figures. You can hold four of them. And I'll give you a view from the cockpit. You can see two of them. And the other two are, of course, they're just back there. I think this looks really nice, and you can close down this. Oh, the cockpit has to come down first, then this. And there's not, like, the whole point of moving the stuff back was to remove the clearance, or to give clearance down there. Overall, overall I think this just gives it a much smoother look. And that is going to wrap it up. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I thank you for staying till the end. If you have any questions about this mod or any just questions in general, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. And until next time, this is the way.